All right, hello guys. Welcome to a super, super exciting tutorial. I know you guys are gonna love this. It's all about the text tool. Fusion is a great compositor, great visual effects tool, but can it do motion graphics? I don't know. Well, that's what I've been trying to figure out. Fusion's really jam-packed this tool, this node, with a bunch of features. What is going on with it? How do we use it? How do we animate with it? A um, couple things that you can do is uh, you can do better animations. Well, it, that is true. You can do some pretty cool animations. I'd see what this flip is. Oh man, this one is. This one's really bad. Don't show anybody this one. Okay, you get the idea. Text. And to our merge. Okay, welcome to the text tool. We've got a text tab, layout tab, transform tab, shading tab, rendering tab, image tab, this funky radiation tab. <laughs> We've got lots of different tabs. Um, some of these are standard across all fusion nodes, some of them are not. This little radiation tab is pretty much standard across all nodes. It affects how masks are applied. Uh, how motion blur is applied, not applied. Um, all right, so back in the text tab, we can, let's change this font. Let's just get out of that font. Oh, that was bad. All right, so we've got Fusion Mac. Uh, let's just do some real basic styling. Fusion calls it shading, but you've got all these different options to shade and style your text. Basically, you can come in here and name whatever you want to call it and enable a drop shadow and just go crazy to your heart's content. If you want to change the color of your font, you come down here to color on the number one underneath shading, and you can change your color to that. That's, let's not do that again. There's tons of cool things hidden in here. You control softness, and this is all animatable. You know, if you wanted to, let's do a quick, a quick little uh, crazy animation. So we'll right click, we'll hit animate, we'll move our playhead back to zero, and we'll just pump up this blur and then there we go there it is let's play it see what we've done look at that we've got a blur so that's how you can kind of quickly animate but this is global it's not um, happening in sequence how do we get things to happen in sequence I can just first hit this let's remove that because we don't want that anymore. let's reset that uh, let's get into animate this how in the world are we going to animate this? Well, you just saw how we applied an animation and it affected the whole the whole text module. And, and we don't want to do that. We want to do some sequential animation. So what we've got to do is use uh, Fusion's secret hidden menus. They have a bunch of them. Um, it's very frustrating if you don't know about these, but once you do know that they're there and, and know how to apply them, then your life just, just gets much, much easier. So we're gonna right click on the Style tab. Again, we're in the, we've got our tool selected. We're in the Tool tab, Text tab, and then we're gonna right click on the Style Text. Here we go, right here, Follower. This is the key. What is going on? What happened? Well, you have to go to your Modifiers tab. You've got a Modifiers tab and a Tools tab. You select the tool, and you get all the options for that tool in the Tools tab. You also have modifier tab, but if you don't have a modifier for that tool, nothing will show up. So let's go back and select our text tool. There we go, we've got our follower that we've added. So what are we gonna do? We're gonna select our text, that's how you select the text, uh, a character, we're gonna go to shading, and we're just gonna jump right in, from all the way down to the bottom, transform, let's just close up these other things, let's take up space. All right, so let's move up to about seven frames. We're gonna animate our offset animate. This is where we want it to land. Let's go to zero. Let's move our offset negative six. There we go, pretty much off screen. So what did that do? Well, the same thing, right? Not really. Let's come up here to our timing tab. Again, we're still in the follower and the modifiers timing tab. We're going to use our delay. Come up a little bit. Let's do that. Let's see what that does for us. There we go, we've got some animation. It's happening sequentially. You can control the delay. Of course, there's the name delay. See how it lays out there. Yeah, it's a little bit longer. So that's looking very 
stale. Let's go to the spline tool. The spline tool in Fusion is pretty awesome. We're going to click on the select button. Basically it just selects and shows you only the node that you have selected. Which is kind of cool because it helps eliminate a lot of clutter. Uh, Alright, so we've got our displacement. Let's put, uh, let's make this the busier handle, shift S. We'll do that for you. Let's click our zoom to fit button. Let's adjust this. Same thing here with we'll our busier handle down. The spline editor in Fusion is just amazing. It's pretty awesome. You can come in here and start to customize. Uh, your handles on all of your animations. Uh, Alright, so that's real simple. Let's go back to our shading. We're going to enable second frame to enable animate our opacity. Let's go to the zero. There we go. Go down. So let's go ahead and also, again, we're still in the shading tab. We still have our one. Now, you guys can see it. So we have a selection here. We're still selecting just that first. Uh, character because that's the one that everybody else is following. And let's go to our softness. Okay. Second. And real quick, we're going to go up here and just click equal sign, hit enter, and then grab this little pick whip and tell it to follow. Um, and then it's the softness Y. So now, kind of come up here, animate, go to our zero. Pump up the soft. The soft is the blur. This one is the blur. There we go. Let's see here. No, I don't know how it did. So here, let's animate on the, on the Z axis. We're going to animate over here and just kind of throw up some, some craziness. So we kind of got some cool, fun stuff happening. That's how you're going to do some text animating. Uh, in Fusion. Well, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Hopefully we all learned something. Just remember, get out there and make it better. Until next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Alright, so how do you current Infusion? It took me forever to figure this out. We're going to go back to our Tools tab here. And before we murder Fusion, let's just talk about on-screen controls. So depending on what tool you select in Fusion, you're going to have these different on-screen controls pop up um, based on what tool you have selected or based upon what node you have selected. So just be aware of that. Keep an eye out for it because this little guy right here has been here and I have not seen him. Um, but he enables kerning. Now it's manual kerning. Um, not the traditional way where you put your cursor in between two two uh, characters and then adjust a slider like you would in, say After Effects or, or even in Motion. In Fusion, you select the characters that you want. So let's bring in this A and C closer to the M. We're going to use our arrow tools and just kind of hit left, left or right, and we kind of adjust as needed. So I reselect C, adjust the C, and there we go. That's how we do kerning. Let's get this end and move him over to the left a little bit. So that's how you would kern to your heart's content. So thanks for watching. We'll come back again and look at some more features on a tool by tool basis. Hopefully this is helpful and stay tuned guys.